Hello everyone. Today I would like to show you how the C4X L rig work with the same unit. First of all, get your rig ready with the battery and the SD card. And before you get it on, make sure the CFG file is already saved on the right position on the SD card on every unit. Now we are getting on with the same dongle. There are two kinds of dongle, the master and the slave. And every one of them, they have three connecting ports. And there's a serial control port at the first place. There are output port at the bottom. For the master unit, we usually label them as number one. And there's a mini switch at the bottom. There's a UART for serial or M for master. We always set it to the M. And now, they can DC chain up to 200 units of slave just by connecting the output to the input port of the slave unit and the output port of the slave is connecting to the input of the other one so you can just keep the training on so now uh, one more thing make sure the slave unit they were set to the S mode okay there's an IO port at the bottom of every C cam and we are just connecting them one by one master is done So the four camera they have already connecting with the same unit. Now we turn them on one by one. So by rotating the camera, you can check through the LCD screen to make sure they are all powering up. Now, at the master camera, I just push the start bu shutter button and the 4 cam will be starting together. So I press the button on the camera 1, it's blinking. Camera 2 is blinking. Camera 3, camera 4, they are all in good sync. Even if you are, uh, sometimes the LED light, LED light, they may not blink in sync, but there's no harm in the files. So I just stop it and all camera they're stopping at the same time and I can still using my smartphone and wirelessly controlling the master and the full rig can be controlled at the same moment so uh, this is the end for the uh, same tutorial thanks for watching